Hi, welcome back once again to FUMA Solutions. Today we've said bye bye to what limits. So no more limits, limits, limits. But don't worry, we'll still be meeting limits along the way. But we'll just be using those theorems and I hope you'll be glad to use them too. But today we want to talk about a theorem that helps us find um, the limit of certain functions that we can determine their limit directly using any of the methods we've talked about. So we use what we call the squeeze theorem. You know what squeeze means? Yeah, you actually squeeze something out to drain either liquid or anything you want from it. And so we use that same idea here to find the limit of certain functions that are unknown. So taking a function, let's say, we have a graph here and we have a function this way and we have another function this way so let's call the first function f of x and the second function g of x and let's say a third function if possible let's say h of x what can we notice we can notice that from our x axis and y axis f of x has the greatest area assuming we are taking all with respect to this portion and see that this graph has the greatest area because it's above all the other functions and when we take the second one we can find that g of x is also the second highest and our third highest is h of x but we can see that they are all equal at this particular point that means they all meet at a point even though some are above the others all the three has a meeting point here that is the coincide at a point let's say p here in their graphs so we can say that the function f of x is greater than the function g of x in terms of the area they cover and g of x is also greater than each of x in terms of the area they cover but at point b they are all equal so we can say greater or equal to greater or equal to okay so g of x finds itself in between f of x and what h of x so if we have knowledge about how to find the limit of f of x and how to find the limit of h of x and we don't know how to find the limit of g of x we can squeeze the limit of g of x out of these two terminal functions for which we can find their what limits so this is just a graphical representation of what squeeze theory talks about so g of x finds itself in between f of x and h of x so we can get the limit of g of x by squeezing the limits of f of x and h of x that is if they have equal limits at that point they are calling in here if the limits exist then you can get the limit of g of x okay let's take a practical example and find out how it works okay assume you have a function let's say 3 plus x squared and you have another function also which is 3 minus x squared and we have a third function which we are calling mu we don't know what mu is but we want to find the limit of what mu finding the limit of mu let's say mu of x as x is approaching let's say 
zero. Okay. Now, since you don't have any expression for mu, how can we find its limit? We can find its limit if mu finds itself in between the first function and the second function. When it falls within it, we can squeeze the word limit out. So, assuming we have the function 3 plus x squared greater or equal to mu of x, also greater or equal to 3 minus x squared. Now, if mu of x finds itself in between this function and that function, as we stated earlier, then we can get the limit of this function by squeezing the limit out of the sided or the ended word limits so that we can actually get a limit for mu also. So the first thing we do is to find the limit of the first function here. The limit of 3 plus x squared as x approaches 0. Using direct substitution, but this is in the simplest form, we are going to get 3 plus 0 to the power 2 which gives us 3. So our limit here is 3. Also taking the limit of the n, that's 3 minus x squared as x approaches 0. Okay. Using direct substitution, we can get 3 minus 0 squared, which is also what? 3. So you can find out that the limit of 3 plus x squared and x, 3 minus x squared as x is approaching 0, both of their limits are the same. So we can say the graph of this and the graph of that meet at a certain point, we can say e, and also mu of x will be at that point as well. So we are trying to squeeze the limit out of these two functions to get that. So from this theory, we can say that the limit of mu of x as x approaches 0 is equal to 3 by squeeze theory. Let me shorten it this way. Squeeze theory. So per uh, squeeze theory, we can say the limit of mu of x is also what 3 because it finds itself in between the two other functions. And we found their limits. Since their limits are equal, we squeeze it and we say it's also what's equal to mu of x. So that's how we find the limit for mu of x. Okay.